Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's up with Jay for Life TV? JP hollering at you. Whew, all right. Got a good one for you. Got a good one for you. So uh, Kendra G has this, I think she's doing IG live called Singles. Uh, I guess Singles on IG. I mean live. I don't know what the fuck. But anyway, it's Kendra G, so I give her a props on it. And she's going through, you know, she talked to men and women about, you know, trying to find a matchmaker for him, a date for him. I, I don't, I don't understand how she's doing hers because she takes down the information and she gets off the phone with them. So I don't know how she works hers, but this young lady is uh, a little different. So before we get into it, let's go ahead, show some love, hit the little subscribe button, like button, and the notification bell. So we can continue getting these great videos that I'm spending time putting out for you. And at the end, let's comment on this. I want to see what your thoughts are uh, with the way this young lady thinks. All right. So we're going to jump right to it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Try to let this thing run because you have to really hear what the hell this woman says before it gets going. So let's spin this thing. Yeah, but it just... Okay, no, 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 let's not start there. Florida in the bills. How old are you? I'm 29. I'm about to be 30 in a week. Happy birthday on the way. Thank you. So Thank you're a Libra? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is Dad. Florida, 29, is a Libra. What do you do for a living, boo? Um, I'm a digital entrepreneur, So, and I'm a brand building coach, so I help people build their brand. I also show people different sources of income through their phones, their computers, their tablets. And yeah, I'm a digital entrepreneur. I love it. Okay, you have any kids? I have two daughters. I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old. Same dad? Yes. Okay, what was... Yes. Okay, what was, was you once married? No, we, oh. our first daughter, we had three months into us talking. Um, and the second daughter I had with him, we weren't even together. We just were still messing around a month in because I wanted a another kid, but I didn't want another kid father. So I was like, we need to have another baby now. And thank you, everyone. Let me, I don't know, I'm going to take these comments off because I'm distracted. But yeah, but it just, it was not, it was not. Do you want? Okay, so. She had a kid. I mean, she met a guy three months in. She got pregnant. She had a baby. And she decided she wanted another baby, but she don't want to marry the dude. So she have another child. But you on singles trying to get matched up with someone. Hmm. All right. Let's spin this. I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious now about what the hell she's going to say. So let's get it. The comments off? No, it's okay. Okay. All right. So, you had a baby a year ago, mm -hmm. and you're not with this guy anymore. No, but there's a there's a little a situation. So, we live together, but we're not together. But the hell? You with your baby? You... <laughs> what the... You have two kids with this dude, and y'all live together. But you saying y'all not together. You got to be stupid, man. Come on. You know ain't nobody gonna believe that shit. Really? We've lived together and we haven't been together for some time. Okay. Okay, not to not to keep this as a big thing, but people are saying you tap up by my face. Oh, it does work. I just did it. So if you if you don't want to see the comments when a person's on. Tap up by my face and it would get rid of the comments. So it's up to you, sweetheart. I thought she knew. Now, didn't she come on and say she's all this with computers and tablets and all this shit? The, the entrepreneur. You can't even turn the damn comments off Instagram. See, that motherfuckers be lying, man. <laughs> you can see them if you want to. But if you tap by my face, it will. they will go away. Look at okay. her. She's fucking lost. Did it work just, for you? I still see like two of them, but that's it. Okay. All right. So let's continue to go. So, okay. 
So this story about the baby a year ago. So it was by your child's father. You already had your four-year-old child with, but you guys, you knew you guys weren't going to be together. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's a lot, honey. That's mm-hmm. a lot. But I mean, at least we got one baby daddy, I guess, right? <laughs> but a new guy has to be willing to date you with a one-year-old. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's get into it. This is Deb in Florida. 20. 20- oh, I missed that. That her, she had a child only one. Did y'all catch that? I, I didn't catch that at first. I know she said she had, you know, the other child early, then she had another child, but I, I missed when she said the child's only one. So that's fairly damn new. Uh. And I, she's a Libra. She'll be 30 next week. She's a digital entrepreneur, two children. Okay. So what kind of guy are you looking for? I'm looking for someone. Okay. Now, everyone pay attention. Y'all think it's us saying stupid shit. When you can see this is a larger woman, you can look at this, her shoulders and tell she's a little big. Now watch how she describing. Y'all talk about Kevin Samuels like, oh, this, he always asks women about this and this. Now listen to what the hell she says about what type of man she wants. And that has their own business, has their own thing going on and all of that. Someone that isn't insecure and thinks that I'm still messing with him or anything like that. We are just literally the best co-parents. I think we became friends after the breakup, during the breakup, because I was pregnant. So my entire pregnancy, we spent working on our friendship and our co-parenting. And it just, it just works because we help each other with raising them and, and doing everything. He goes on dates. He does, does his thing. I haven't dated anyone in two years. So we broke up November of 2019. So yeah. When was just, the last time you two were intimate? months ago like maybe like eight nine months ago now how many of y'all raise your hands they can hit the comments y'all like that, plus, that you say you're not in a relationship or doing anything with now this your baby dad you just had a you just had a baby from him a year ago and you say y'all just had sex maybe six or eight months ago I don't think this chick even realized what the hell she said, man. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. But go ahead, dummy. So that's not two years ago. No. But so, had, so, so, after, him, so after you had the baby, you guys have been intimate oh since? Oh, my God. Yeah, like twice or three times. Twice or three times. Have you, you have a- Since you had the baby a year ago. <laughs> you date anybody outside of him? Mm-mm. So you haven't had sex with anybody since him? No. So that's good, but if I was a guy, I would be concerned because you're so you're still kind of attached to this guy. You don't think so? No, because it's just I think my fear is more I have two daughters. So okay. I'm not gonna bring just any man. Like if you go on my profile, I have a lot of men that reach out to me on a regular basis. It's just my fear is I have two girls. So my biggest requirement is they have to be a dad, a, a, a girl dad. Cause I'm not gonna date a guy with two, like with boys, just cause I don't want to have, you know, like, I don't know. I've been through a lot of shit with men, so I just don't want to bring. But I want to like be with, like, start something with someone. Cause I don't want to be single forever. I'm about to be thirty. Like, I want to. I get, get. I get that. She just sounds stupid. As, I mean, she's just goofy. That's what the fuck I'm gonna call it, goofy. Cause. You rushed into a relationship, had a baby with a dude, then have another baby with a dude. Then you say you're going to require another dude who has to be a girl. That So he has to have a girl in order for you to get with him. So you worry about what, their daughters. But you trying to get with somebody and be the... I'm sorry. Oh, man. Sorry and, and have you completely closed off that chapter of intimacy with your child's father? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's a wrap for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. I understand your concern as a mom, as you should be. You have daughters. Well, even if you have boys, you don't want to just bring anybody around your kids. So that makes sense. And your kids are young, one and four. So you want a guy that already has um, kids. Right. Do you want any more kids? If I get married. Do you want to get married? I do. You want to get married. Does the guy have to be in Florida? Um, no. 
Okay. You're willing to travel. What's the age range you want to age range you want to date 31 to like 40 okay let's go over your requirements so what are your requirements now Hi. check this shit out now check this out it's to be uh a dad uh a girl dad, girl dad. Has, to has to be i'm five three so has to be over five six and and i'm not racist but like he can't he can't be white and What's your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic and black. Okay, so you want somebody Hispanic and black, or or either or? Either or. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's really it. Oh, and has to have nice teeth. Because if nice not, teeth. they just keep looking at them. Their teeth, like I keep looking at your teeth because they're so nice. So oh, I love teeth. I love teeth. Um, so kind of that's it. Okay. Any deal breakers? Now things that you won't date. Um. <sighs> I won't date guys that are chubby because I'm chubby. So now see, that's the shit right there that we all been talking about. You have a girl. Now you got women here talking about, oh, y'all big, these big girls, blah, blah, blah. But what did she say? She don't want a big boy because she's a big girl. But if a man says he doesn't want a big girl, Oh shit, he has the phobias and the fat phobias and he don't like big girls and all this other shit. But a lot of you big girls say that exact shit right there. And you know you do because we heard you say it. So it's all right. Clown yourself, goofy. Oh, oh I can't. It's the friction for me. I can't do it. I, we're both yeah, gonna get but how are you going to require? Okay, I need continue, continue. I need a thin, tall guy. Well, tallish guy. Taller than me. But then. Debbie, no. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> Debbie. Because if you were a guy, and actually I have had guys that have been up here that have been chubby, that have said, I want a thin girl. So you can, you can require, right? You have the right to your preference. But you should be what you desire. So if you want a thin <laughs> guy, do you plan on losing some weight? I am in the process of losing weight. I go to a boot camp. Okay. So okay. I feel like I'm working. But see, they all say that shit. Lose the weight first. Nobody wants to go through the journey of you up and down going on this damn diet because you get angry and upset. Anybody that's ever been on like diets, like real diets, you get mad when you hit certain points in that diet because your sugar levels drop and all this shit and you become angry and grouchy. Nobody wants to go through the journey. Lose the weight, then look for someone. That's that's my advice. Working on myself like 100%. So like even if like he is chubby and he's working on it, we meet at the gym, I'm not going to be like, no, because you're working on it. So it's not, so yeah. Okay. Okay. It can't be someone that's just home eating all day because I want better for me. So I don't want, you know, if you're not working on you. With you. Okay. Okay. So, what are some other deal breakers for you? Um, has to have a, a job or like have his business because I have a business, and it has to be secure because I'm on social media posting videos and pictures and I do all this stuff on social media. This is my job. So you have to be okay with me posting sexy pictures and be okay with me going on live every day and have to be okay with the people that reach out to me through my business and all that. Wait a minute now. Earlier she said she helped people make money through their social medias and all this shit. So now what are you talking about? You on here taking sexy pictures and posting shit on Instagram and all this. You have a fucking OnlyFans account, girl. And you tell my you got a business and he need to have a business. So what does man need to have a fucking OnlyFans to? Come on, man. And then yeah, you make a sense because you said you got a lot of guys being your shit trying to holler at you. Now it makes sense. Your ass got an OnlyFans and you up here talking like you the shit and you a big girl at that. Oh man. Okay. So you already said you want him to have kids. You want him to be a girl dad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you gave me the age range, 31 to 40. You told us your last dating situation with your child's father. So 
I got to admit, if I was a guy, I would be a little concerned. <laughs> a, one, a, a baby you just had with him, he was still the last guy he was with. But, I mean, you say you're ready and open for love. So a person has to be willing to accept that with you. Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Debbie? Because I'm so loving. And, okay. I'm, and I'm driven. And I've never needed a man to take care of me. I've always taken care of myself. So... I would just be more of your peace, not your, not someone that's not going to be that. I want to be your friend. I want to be able to help you build and not take away. And yeah. Okay, real quick. They're telling me in the comments. You still live with your child's father? Yeah. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Well, he's a. Well, he's a. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad she got her on that. I am so glad she got. Her. I, I mean, the whole situation sounded fucking stupid. She's sitting there acting. And she thought, I'm so this. I'm so that. She thinks she's the shit. Nobody's coming after you. You ain't dated no one in two or three years. You got the one dude, your baby daddy, that likes you, but nobody else wants your ass. You ain't taking sexy pictures, doing an OnlyFans some fucking where. Come on, girl. Now you live with your baby dad and you are here trying to get a date. Oh my goodness. You don't live with your child's father? Well, I don't sleep with him. He has no. Now look, now, Debbie. <laughs> I was trying. I totally missed that part. So you want a man to come and date you and you're trying to get a date. You don't live with your child's father? You as you are living with your child's father? What man in their right mind going to do that, Debbie? We're not staying living together forever. The thing is, right now... Therapy. He... Okay, therapy, you're going to have to do that. Because if you do not see how that's crazy, think about this. You are living with your child's father. He dates other women. That's cool. But you want a decent man. Not a man that's going to treat you like shit, right? So right. why would it... Let's just say a decent man. He a doctor. He a lawyer. He got his life together. Mm -hmm. Gonna want to come into... Now, first of all, you already have the one-year-old, so I was trying to get past that. Then, you know, you admitted your last sexual relationship was your child's father. I was still kind of slightly getting past that. We're not staying living together forever. The thing is, right now... Therapy. If... Okay, therapy, you're going to have to do that. Because if you do not see how that's crazy, think about this. You are living with your child's father... He dates other women, that's cool, but you want a decent man, not a man that's going to treat you like shit, right? So right. why would it, let's just say a decent man, he a doctor, he a lawyer, he got his life together, mm -hmm. going to want to come into, now first of all, you already have the one-year-old, so I was trying to get past that. Then, you know, you admitted your last sexual relationship was your child's father. I was still kind of slightly getting past that. But there ain't no way in hell we're going to get past the fact that you still live with your child's father and you want to meet a new man. You're going to have to figure out separating your life from him if you don't want a life with him. Because it seems like right now he got the best of both worlds. He lives with you, got his kids. He's able to date other people. So y'all been living together for the last eight, nine months and he's been bringing other women to the house? Not, no, he's never brought anyone to the house. He goes out does this thing we like we don't we don't the thing we don't fight we don't anything we're like really good friends that's it i don't know how i missed that there's no way i can't present you i'm sorry i love you i think you're sweet but you gotta get some things together ain't no man that there's a man that would date you but probably not the type of guy that you want a quality guy would not sign up a quality guy's not gonna sign up for that you have to get some things debbie Look how she's just sitting there looking like, like she just can't believe this shit. Like, why wouldn't somebody want that with me? And it's that delusional at best. This is why they mean that shit. She really thought that she can have a man and her baby daddy who breaking her off whenever. And all this shit and just who, what dude wants to be in that? And if one comes... He ain't trying to stick around with you. He's just going to hit it and keep moving. But, I mean, then you talk about a dad, a girl dad. What kind of dad wants to come into some shit like this? 
Uh, we gotta get some things together. I'm not a therapist. Don't have no doctorate in that stuff. I think you should maybe talk to one and get some things of your life in order. But you still live with your child's father, and you want a guy to date you as you're living with your child's father. Well, we're not doing anything. So why can't you live by yourself? This is my place. But the thing is, right now, what well, he went and fell on hard times. So I bought the place. And then I was like, you can stay until you get on your feet. When you get on your feet, you're going to go. He has no intentions on staying here. He's maybe three or four months. It hasn't been the full eight months. It hasn't been the full, you know, year. So it's not like we've been living together this entire time for two years that we weren't together. It's just been a few months. That's why I'm like, I mean, we're cool. So I, of course, I'm going to give him a room if he doesn't have a place to stay. Okay, so let me just ask you this. Let's just do a mirror. If you met a guy that had a, a, a one-year-old... And a Look at her. She was quick to say no to that shit. But let Kendra finish asking the damn question. Goofy ass. A four-year-old. Um, his child's mother lives with him. Mm -hmm. um, would you date him? No. Why would you not date him? Because I would think that they're still having sex. Duh. I don't know how Kendra keep up with this kind of shit. Cause this is the dumbest damn female I've I've seen in a while. She just answered her own fucking question to her own scenario. You, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not I'm not even gonna try to explain it. Let's listen to it. So why are you asking someone to date what you would not date? Cause I'm so honest. So I would feel like I, I give so much transparency and everything. I okay, well, let's just say you are honest. Let's just say you truly are being a child's mother who's helping out her child's father and he's staying with you in the house. How does that dynamic work if I'm a, a new guy? I come into the house and your baby daddy's there. Like, well, how, does, how, how does that work? Well, I wouldn't invite them over right away because I'm not going to invite someone where my kids stay because anything can happen. So I would date them outside and then hopefully when I, if i know it's going to be serious i would then be like hey it's been however long when are you leaving because now i'm, I'm going to be in a relationship so you know it's not going to work so i would never just be like come to my house he's here like come a that and i have kid like i'm not going to let you know where my kids live like that's just not that's not going to happen right away so okay so which is fair i understand this chick is crazy yeah, uh, therapy. And stay with your baby daddy. Because nobody else wants your ass. Go go work on your weight. You say you want to go work on that. Go work on losing the weight. Get you some therapy. And stay with your baby daddy. That's, that's the best thing I can tell your ass. But these are also things that if I'm a quality guy, I don't got time for this shit. <laughs> like, why am I going to deal with that? If I'm, first of all, if this is a quality guy, right? Has a good job is attractive like you said you want to be the opposite of you tall and thin you know that's what you said mm -hmm. he has a lot of options right this guy any guy that has his stuff together especially if he has money and things of that nature he's mm -hmm. gonna have a lot of women to choose from so why am i gonna choose the woman that had a baby a year ago and her child's father still lives with her right I just feel like, first of all, being single is not a <laughs> yeah. terrible thing, right? This motherfucker is delusional. She's like, uh, yeah, right, maybe, yeah. Uh, like, you really thought you had a plan. Damn. I think sometimes people feel like I was going to be with somebody. But I think you got to figure out the dynamic with you and your child's father if you want to allow a new man into your life. I just don't understand. Like, I think a man might date you, but I'm not sure if it's the kind of man... I think you're beautiful, right? So you're always going to have guys, right? You're always going to have guys, right? I'm not worried about that. That's all she want to hear. She just got a pretty face, but the rest of it, I mean, nah. That's why nobody, that's why she's not with anyone right now. Ain't nobody knocking at her door. She might be on that OnlyFans shit making money, but ain't nobody knocking at her door. Because she could be walking, going to church, doing something else, and somebody can holler at you. You on here on a dating site. Come on. You're a beautiful woman. The quality of the guy. It's the quality of the guy. The type of guy, you know, mm -hmm. that you want. And I just think, you know, again, I ain't no therapist, but I'm just thinking if I, I'm thinking of the men that I know, right? 
sensational mm-hmm. money, jobs, career, plethora mm-hmm. of options. They're not going to choose that. Right. So I think you're be looking when I'm no longer living. What well, he's no longer living here. Yeah. Gotcha. I do. I do. I, I mean, I even think about- it's just like, for me, it's always been, okay, well, we're cool. Maybe I should start looking. And then I got on the show yesterday, and I was like, I want to be on there. I want to meet someone. Not really thinking of everything what you're saying right How now. How old are you, 29? Yeah. I so. mean, I get it. I just feel like you got to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, this is getting stupid. This chick here just, don't. I ain't worried about it. Nobody's coming for her anyway, so I ain't worried about that. She just think. Cause she got a pretty face that she's the shit. She got her only fans going on, trying to hide it with all this other shit she said, but she kind of told on herself once she listened to it. All I can say, go back, stay with your baby daddy, stop bothering people, stop calling on these damn sites. And I'm getting out of here, man. This this wasting my time. So with that being said, don't forget, subscribe, like, comment on this BS foolery. And it's what's up with Jay. For Light TV, and y'all have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace. I don't want to see no more of this shit. Crazy.